Hello YouTubers and welcome to DealsPrime.com review channel. We actually just now ran a Live N22X uh, benchmark test. It wasn't live because we actually uh, ran out of space in our memory card, but these are the results. It gets, uh, this is a review for the B-Link R89. And this is a, a quad-core rock chip uh, RK3288 CPU uh, Android TV box. And uh, in this review, we're just going to check out the N22 benchmark. Uh, results uh, and then we'll uh, check out the settings, the apps, and maybe do some web browsing. Um, before we start though, make sure to like our video. Also, subscribe to the dealsprime.com review channel. And we probably will be doing like an unboxing review just showing you what this uh, B Link comes with and also the build of it. Here the unit is, it's nice and uh, just really, it's a really cool uh, shape. And uh, you can see, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll actually do an unboxing to show you all the uh, ports in, uh, in depth or whatever. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's check out the results. Now, I'm actually using the i10 uh, 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 keyboard mouse, uh, yeah, air mouse or keyboard mouse, and uh, and it's also like there should be like a similar model inside of our uh, Deals Prime uh, description, so you can uh, bundle uh, the B Link with, uh, with with this keyboard mouse. Now, it does come with a remote like this. Uh, but it, you can see it's pretty simple and uh, we're going to be typing things so uh, I really uh, recommend uh, getting a, like a wireless uh, a wireless mouse keyboard mouse okay so again uh, the Antutu Benchmark score uh, is uh, 33,112 now uh, this is running uh, Android 4.4.2 and you can see it's a quad core 1.8 gigahertz CPU now this is one of the reasons why the Rockchip RK3288 CPU is so special and the models in the, the, the phones, well actually the tablets and the uh, Android TV boxes that have this CPU, they actually clock uh, faster than a lot of uh, octa-core uh, devices like the Allrunner A80T, uh, also this is faster than the MTK6592 or yeah, the MTK octa-core. Okay, now this has two gigabytes DDR3 RAM. Uh, the GPU is a Mali T764, so great for gaming. And uh, let's just go. Uh, I think there's a about device, a device info, here in the upper right. And this is just going to show us this uh, some more uh, um, this in-depth thing. So this is a uh, the resolution is 1920 by 1032. This is the IME info. Now, this is a 16 gigabyte uh, unit, ROM unit, and uh, <coughs> has about uh, 12 gigabytes free. Now we're going in to apps and show you and kind of show you the breakdown of how the memory is uh, broken down. And then uh, I'll just go down. And then, uh, I want it to go down. So that's one of the things that I probably uh, should have uh, powered up the uh, <coughs> the remote that comes with it. But uh, oh, there we go. So you just okay. So here's the firmware uh, version right here, uh, and this firmware was last updated on August 18. And uh, here are some of the sensors that was doesn't really apply, but um, just some of the things that are supported and not supported. So uh, we just now got this unit in. So special thanks to B-Link. Okay, there we go. Now we now we're scrolling. So you can uh, pause your uh, screen uh, in, anywhere in the results and uh, get out of here and uh, and show you the interface, the user interface. Okay, so again, I guess it's a score of 33,000 over 33,000. And uh, we actually were, uh, we downloaded this from Baidu, the N22. Now we're going to dealsprime.com and uh, just make sure that uh, the link inside the YouTube video is, go is uh, linking to Deals Prime. Uh, we have special offers on the website like when you order something you can get like a free gift or whatever and also uh, we have a lot of cool things like uh, so this is going actually going to our uh, mobile site and uh, 
I'm on both side. It's it's okay, but I mean our, our regular side is a lot better. So I'm just gonna do a search for R eighty nine. Oops. And uh, here it is, it's the B-Link R89. And another reason why like, I don't really like uh, our mobile site, well, it's okay, but I mean, like the, the, the description is very basic. It's very basic. So, uh, we'll click on that again. There we go. Okay, so again, so this is actually a 16 gigabyte ROM unit, so it looks like they're, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, the 16 gigabyte. So we'll have to update our description as it looks like the, uh, like the 8 gigabyte, it, it may be released a little bit later, but I'm sure that most of you guys will want a 16 gigabyte, the extra 16 gigabytes for the co extra couple dollars anyways. So uh, we'll definitely have to update our description. So there it is. Now let's just uh, go into the uh, user interface and uh, to show you some cool stuff. So this has an XBMC Media Center, and uh, settings, we'll go into settings in a second. Uh, this has full Play Store. So this is uh, the version 13.1 it looks like. Yeah, the Gotham. Okay, so you can just, uh, you can put, you know, XBMC, you guys all know what this is, but it, basically this allows you to have more fun with your uh, multimedia. So, get out of here. That's it. And it looks, what is this? Okay, yeah, so these are the icons. So, uh, a lot of the pre installed apps. So, uh, you have an APK installer, apps, browser, camera, which uh, I don't really see on this unit. Yeah, I don't think that this has a camera. So, uh, but you can you can always um, this this uh, R ninety eight eighty nine. Sorry, it does have full size USB ports, so you can uh, um, connect a web camera. Downloads eHome Media Center, Gallery, Gmail, Movie Studio, Music, Play Store, Quick Office. Now this is a, a kind of a, allows you to be uh, productive. It has a Word, Excel, and a presentation. back to the icons. This is a nice uh, clean interface I have to say. Skype, sound recorder, video player, voice search, Wi-Fi display, and XPMC. Okay so that looks like it's all the all of the uh, And this looks like it's uh okay yeah, so this is like a, a manager, you can file manager. Okay, so I'm really happy with uh with the interface, it's nice and clean. So they put a lot of time into it. Now let's just go into settings and then uh we'll get up into some web browsing. So this does have Bluetooth. We'll actually turn that off. And uh, storage, screenshot settings. I probably should have uh, taken some screenshots, but uh, storage. So let's check out the storage real quick. So again, two gigabytes DR3 RAM, and uh, looks like 16 gigabytes with about for ROM, and with about 11.55 gigabytes free. <coughs> Shout out language and input for our international viewers, which is probably most of our uh, audience. Okay, so here are all the languages that it does support. Okay. <coughs> now 
we'll go to apps in a second. Let me just get over to this panel here so we can check out about device. Okay, so again, it's a uh, R89 Android 4.4.2, and the firmware was last updated on August 18. And this is go into apps, and then uh, we'll get to the fun part, which is uh, web browsing. We could maybe even do some uh, video streaming if you guys really want. So uh, looks like there's 1.6 gigabytes RAM free, and you can see here there's 12 gigabytes free for the RAM. And then uh, another 1.2 gigabytes free here, so about 13.2. Now here are all the apps, and then uh, we'll just uh, kind of scroll down as well, Bluetooth. Again, I just want to take this time to make sure that you guys uh, like our video. Also, subscribe to the DealsPrime.com review channel. We try to upload uh, new Android and Windows uh, device reviews daily. And, uh, to show us your support. Now this is uh, again this is the Android system UI and this Android 4.4 KitKat. Okay now let's uh, get out of here and then uh, check out the uh, 1.8 gigahertz CPU. Now this is uh, just like a, I think it's probably like an IE type browser so you can actually download Chrome or you know a faster browser uh, than what we're using here. <clears throat> and we'll just go to a couple of sites that uh, I know that will load uh, from our location. And another cool thing about this uh, keyboard mouse is that I can just type in what I, where I want to go, which is a lot easier than using the remote. Okay. So maybe. This is down now. Let's go to the local site just to make sure that our web is still okay, our internet. Yep, looks like it's okay. So this is another thing, like you saw this security warning on our, uh, when we went to our dealsprime.com uh, mobile site. So this is, uh, this is mainly something I think with the with this type of browser, it's kind of just like a, a not really optimized browser or whatever. I think that's probably the best way to describe it. This is BBC for all the people in, uh, again, this era. So it, it has nothing to do with really with this device, it's just uh, some of the sites that we're going to be visiting. Uh, just this browser, so I definitely recommend just downloading like a Chrome browser. And uh, let's go to a couple, one more, uh, maybe one more site, and then uh, wrap up this review. I want to try out uh, this site again because this site usually always loads. Okay, yeah, so it looks like it may be blocked now as well. Wow. So it looks like search engines are, are being blocked. So, Okay, so uh, this just about wraps up this review. And, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, like uh, search engines will not be blocked in your country. It's just uh, <laughs> from where we're uh, shooting this video it is. So, again, make sure that the link goes to dealsprime.com. And uh, we'll probably actually just, like, download, like, a video streaming uh, site so you can see it streaming video. And... Uh, Make sure that we'll stay tuned. We'll be actually doing an unboxing review and showing you the accessories for this baby. And uh, so, uh, like your video, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.